Why do people confuse angels with spirit guides? Can you explain the difference between the two of them? Yeah, yeah, because apples, oranges. Right. Um, Both you know, are fruit. passed over loved ones, apples, oranges, <laughs> bananas. I mean, you know, it's like, the, so the thing that I always tell people is that angels are messengers of God. Most of their names end in E-L, which means of God. Of God. Um, uh-huh. They are extensions of the divine, of source, of the universe, of goddess. I don't care which word you use, potato, potato. Um, but the, th- the thing about angels is that they are omnipresent. They are always present in all ways and all things. You can ask Archangel Michael something, as so can 7 billion other people ask Archangel Michael. And what I love about angels is what I also love about the divine is not putting either thing in a box. Right. Because they uh-huh. don't fit in a box. And so we tend to humanize these right. things. We try to say, oh, Archangel Michael's the head of all the archangels. No, the archangels don't need a hierarchy. They don't need one. It. Right. So, um, so. Whereas the, the spirit guides are more like Brad from Buffalo. I agree. I mean, right? exactly. So and, and, you know, people will say all the Gabriel time. from God. Right, right. Exactly. It's like people will say all the time, well, my grandmother is my guardian angel. Well, no. I mean, is your guardian angel, is your grandmother with you all the time? Sure. But she is not an angel. It's not the same thing. The, right. These are literal extensions of the divine of source and and for the most part have not had a human incarnation. Right, right, right. So the other, so spirit guides typically, because I, you know, I was on tour with Sylvia Brown for yeah. a long time, many, many years yeah. ago, 2006 or something. And she would like spit out all these names and it did sound like, you know, it's Mer- Myrtle from uh, uh, Stockholm or, or like, you know what I mean? like Brad from <laughs> Buffalo. And I'd be like, like her. Yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm like, I don't think I have those kind of people. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I was always really curious about that because I don't, uh, yeah, I also feel that I- I like that you used the word curious about that. (laughs) It was very curious, yes. No, because it's funny because I know a lot of people are really connected to spirit guides and I have this sense of their guides in the hidden realms, but they are, they morph uh, and they, they're very, they're not boxed in. They have. I agree more- with you. Yeah. So I agree with you, Colette. People always ask me in sessions, what's my spirit guide's name? And I feel like that's the human part of us that wants to give them a name and a title and a history. Right. But to me, when I'm like super clear, to me, it sounds like a symposium of energy that sort of presents right. itself in one voice. And sometimes they've taken shape and I've seen hair, but I believe that's my brain trying to understand trying to, what's going on. This is so interesting because, you know, when I had finished uh, Messages from Spirit, my TV show, I was so fried because I had done, I don't know how many, three shows a day for 30 days or whatever. And then I was like, so by the end of it, I couldn't hold myself together. And so I kept hearing a chorus of voices that yes. called themselves Fred. Yeah. And I'm, like, I'm like, who are you? Fred, 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 Fred. Like, we are Fred. You are, we we, are Fred. You are we. I, no, serious. And I'm like, and then they kept telling me, pick, oh my God, I wrote about it in my book, Uncharted, about the experience of tuning into these voices that sounded like they felt like angels, yeah. but they wanted me to, to, to look up their name, which was, uh, which was Fred. And then they showed me Garth from Wayne's World. And I never saw Wayne's World. So I had to call around and go, what's that character that that guy with the wig played in Saturday Night Live? I couldn't because I never saw the film, the movie. And then I realized, oh my God, this is the ruler of peace. And, mm. and, and, and the ruler of peace to look after the garden because Garth represented the garden. And I'm like, I am freaking out now. <laughs> <laughs> and it didn't, it didn't, wasn't consistent. So mm. it's like, I, and, and I would never tell anybody that it was, but it, for a period of time, I heard a chorus called Fred, you know, that was very present, but they weren't like the spirit guides that like, uh, that I know to be a spirit guide. And, and as a medium, I tune into people who've crossed over and God forbid I've ever have one of them follow me around. I don't want them as guides for <laughs> like, go away and get <laughs> Go get your shit together and come back. Right? I used to think I was doing it wrong because I didn't have a specific spirit guide because I would look up to yeah. other spiritual teachers who had one with a very specific name in this really specific relationship. And mine always felt like it was evolving and transforming and shifting. So to me, I always say to clients, it's kind of like you're listening to an orchestra and the music is beautiful, but you're asking me to pause and talk about the one violin. And right. we can do that and we can stop and we can, but you're going to miss the music. 
so my for, God, that's so interesting. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 That's very interesting. It's, it, it, it was very musical. That's, that's a really interesting thing. And you don't want to take them apart. Very, very fascinating. Okay, if you like this podcast and you want to see more, just click over here and you'll get to see more clips from this interview. If you just want to listen, well, if you click there, you'll listen to the entire interview available to you on any one of your favorite podcast channels.